This is a rotary phone. This is most commonly used used in the past in the 19th century. The 19th century brought up the best telephone ever. But actually, you know who who you know who invented the, the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell invented the first telephone. It was using vibrating wires and always he also made a prototype which which overcome the issue of the liquid telephone and this phone is is made is invented by Western Electric I can see it says Western Electric but you can't and it also says bell like like it's made by it's the bell system service it's my favorite service. It's also called AT&T. And on the other side, I have the very oldest AT&T digital, digital answering machine. <laughs> I plug the phone in here and then this into my landline. <laughs> See? And port. Two ports. Um, so I can dial the number. I can make calls because I plugged it into the input. That's the best port because then you can receive calls, not wait until a call will go right in your phone. So this rotary dial. Very old. Well, let me show you about the answering machine. So this answering machine, you can turn it off or turn it on. So I can press the play button, but there are no voicemails yet. Yeah. Make the volume louder. That's already allowed. Yeah, and all this sound is coming from this speaker. It's very large. So you can hear it better. And there are zero voicemails, as you can see. But it says low battery. But I don't really have a battery inside. To install a battery. Because I'm using these batteries for my doorbell. In case this light, this light also shows me power. Which is red light. This red light is if the Phones, cameras close to this red light, it can get the background will be dark and only there will be a red circle. Doesn't this look like an eye? Yeah, it really looks like a red eye. But let's get out of it. Yeah. Let's see where this light is coming from here. This is an LED. And this is also an LED. That's why they, that's why companies needed to make it look like an eye. This looks like an eye from a close, but from afar, it doesn't look like an eye. It looks like a zero because of the angle. Everything needs to be standard in a most in a most efficient way. Let's move back to the room. In my desk, I... In my office, I have this rotary phone. I use this phone as my line one, also known as business, also known as line, also known as line one business edition. Um, so, um, this phone is actually connected to the line. This, it's connected to the line. Yeah. And it's connected right in here, and then this white cable 
and then this white lumbering cable just just sends the signal into here and like this has to like this just goes in here and then like it's like like crosses like and then it like goes in and I like this go out completely and the phone rings So this is like a real working phone. This is a working phone. This is actually working. If you notice, um, this is a pretty good phone. Um, it has a finger stopper, so it stops, so it doesn't break the f pulse. It doesn't break the um the um buttons I have to twist I'll show you how it works so I'm gonna use the zero and voila it just finger stopped me now I have to let go now just dial the one pulse but it's not getting sent I have to turn on the phone like this that will turn on the phone and of course it's good and it actually is on but if it was like unplugged there's no power. But it needs to be plugged into a wall jack or a modem. But it's getting high voltage. You know? It's getting high voltage because I plugged it in here. I just showed you earlier. This is a high voltage current, which is also my power, my my power cord, and I want to plug more things into power, such as my computer, my my AT and T answering machine, which I just showed you. The cable, valid. This cable is for my Winix. Well, we're not going to talk wi about Winix right now. Let's move back to rotary phones and was. Let's move back to the Western Electric rotary phone and Alexander Graham Bell. So first, let's talk about Alexander Graham Bell. But the point of him saying the first first speech, but the first speech being sent down the wire was Alexander Graham Bell saying to his assistant named Mr. Watson, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Mr. Watson might want to see the phone he has invented. But though he looks very old, it's because it's black and white. That's why it's very old. There were young men, there were young men in the 20s. And everything became true on them. Though the big eyes have been seriously made. But there's also a picture of him speaking into the telephone. <laughs> and Mr. Watson coming. And Mr. Watson in the room looking at him and the telephone. So that's basically it. This is why the rotary phone was a big success due to the bell system. So this is AT and T, and this is a so this is AT and T, and this is AT and T. So they will, will both bring the same service line, so it doesn't just have to like convert like, and then you'll ring, and then it'll ring. All these pulses are being sent through copper wire. The garage is under my bedroom, so I can have a wall, so I can have a phone jack right behind my bed. You just can't see down there, my. You, down there, you can place a phone jack. Yeah, pretty cool, right? 
This is where you can place a floor jack. This is where you can place a phone jack. So that's basically it. The RG11 phone jack is basically connected. But the RG45 and the RG48 have the same letters. RJ. And this is used for DSL modems too. But it is also used for her using the Lund line. And of course, while it's connected, it's an RJ11 connector. So let me just disconnect this from my phone. As you can see, they're just like, they're like only four pins. And on a RJ48, it kind of matches up with the eight pins. And the four and the RJ45 does not match up with like eight pin does not match up with the eight pins. But very similar to the RJ48, because the RJ48 is a shielded twister pair. So can we just keep talking about these rotary phones? What we all need to talk about them is in the past operators were able to connect you with the person you want to call. But then they they but then they closed off. But then they closed was but then they are not here anymore. Operators are not being supported anymore. Now, well, like all telephones today, rotary phones have have no, have separate numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. <coughs> all these numbers, there's you had to say to the operator, but. The phone numbers were short. For example, this rotary phone had the phone number 234-4881. And because of its name, it also shows the area code. Area code 405. This number will soon be available on, on this phone. Well, suitably, at suitable points, everything must be a, a good good vintage fashion. As you can see, I'm dialing the number zero. And now I'm dialing the number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, Number six, number seven, and number eight. Number nine, and number zero is the final. Wow, that was a lot of numbers to do, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video about the rotary phone. Please check out other videos on this channel. And remember, support us every time by, by subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.